Okay, hi everyone, Cubix FPV here. I'm going to try and do my first um, full scale uh, quad build. So, this is the Armitan Chameleon, um, great frame. Uh, I've already done some of the assembly, put the little standoffs on the back, stuck the motors on, stuck the uh, little pads underneath, uh, put the nylon screws in for the PDB and the flight controller. Uh, I've also built up the, the camera pod for the FPV cam and the HD cam so that sits on the front um, like that so um, they're dead easy to do uh, top plate just sits on there and that, that's basically the, the whole build um, as a frame so dead simple dead simple to get the top plate off get, in, get inside and even taking your, your, your camera off should be fairly, fairly straightforward um, there's a good build video, uh, build video by um, by Chris from Armatan Quads. So uh, if you're getting one of these frames, go and check it out. Uh, it's also an interesting video where he beats one of these with a hammer, uh, and this aluminium front end takes a real paste in. It's uh, it's, it's quite impressive to watch. So I'll uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, to Chris's video. So first stage on this build. Is I'm going to sort the PDB. So I've got um, XT60 in there, and some some heat shrink and uh, some wiring to do that, and this little piece of rubber, which is the uh, the connector saver um, that Armatan supply, which is an interesting way of fitting the uh, the ESC, so it's not solidly mounted to the PDB, which I think is quite a good idea. I know um, in the past on some of my other frames. Having that really rigid sometimes makes the batteries difficult to, to, to connect uh, and you just need a bit of play. Uh, but, but not only that in a crash, if your battery takes a whack, it, will, uh, it won't damage your PDB, you know, it's not going to break this thing. So, first thing I'm going to do is um, tin it up. I'll probably just tin up all the pads um, and get that ready to, uh, ready to start, start getting the XT60 on. Just before I get too much further with the uh, PDB, just give you an overview of the parts. Uh, chameleon, Armatan Chameleon frame, already mentioned. Armatan's oomph motors, so give those, give those a try. Um, flight controller, uh, X Racer 303. Uh, Free Sky uh, XSR uh, with S Bus. As a, uh, receiver. Um, little b ESCs, so I'm going to do another video uh, removing the cap on these so I can run D-Shot, so check that out. Um, a Runcam Swift 2, so this is the one with the uh, OSD and the voltage uh, voltage monitoring, the VBAT connection, which is uh, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've got a Immersion RC Tramp uh, VTX on the way. Hopefully that's going to come over the next day or so, uh, and I can finish sort of finish this build off. Um, so yeah, crack on, jump back to uh, sort of the PDB. Right, that should do. Just tin these up, much let it cool a little bit, and uh, tin these up. Um, again, there's another video on the Armatan YouTube channel. It shows you uh, how Chris does these, so I'm gonna try and follow that. And see how it goes. First job. This. Uh, Connector saver. This squishy rubber thing there, which as you can see is designed to fit straight onto the uh, XT60, like that. And that will then fit um, onto here, like this. So you end up with that sort of bit of flex in there. 
Um, so I'll probably get the uh, get the cables on here first. Really sink to that. Okay, that should work. Okay, right. I'll turn up these now if I can. And something to hold them. So, so I think if I cut these basically nearly flush to this um, and then sort of tin them, the idea is I can push 
turn those, push it down onto there to compress the rubber a little bit so it'll just fit and then just relax back. Um, so, well, here he goes. Let's just leave himself like what, a mill. I hope this works. Same that side. So I'll probably take those off, tin those, and then uh, pop some heat shrink over those um, just to be extra safe. Um, I hope they're okay in length because if they ain't, I'm stuffed. Okay, so I'm going to tin these then. Come on, Mel, here we go. Give the other one. Okay. Well, that is pretty damn solid. And pretty damn hot. That's it, shrink that, hang on. Okay, I've gone by uh, Chris's recommendation there. 
block the holes just just enough to block them right okay so let's just have a think about this because there's nothing worse than soldering these things on the wrong way around and believe me I've done that before so yes sorry the flight controller which is here just so I don't have to faff with um, the orientation of the board put that in straight USB is nice and free on the left and then this will sit with a positive sticking up like that so positive away from me positive away from me where is the connector saver? It's here. Should hopefully still fit. It's pretty snug now with all that heat shrink. Oh, a bit of heat. Clean the iron. Bit of solder. Line that up. Come with the other side. Easy. It's better. 